right outside um, the coach station, which is up there. I don't know if you can see it if I can zoom in. That's the Victoria coach station there. Which is where the National Express drops everybody off. Um, it is in fact only half past two. Uh, and I am going to go and make my way now um, to an area of the city that I'm not very familiar with, to my hotel. Um, the coach station is not connected to the, uh, the tube, so I've got to go down this road um, and through the, uh, the colonnade walk there, and then there's another um, I think it could even be Victoria Centre, something like that, um, at the end, before I get into the station. And then I'm looking for the district line, which uh, runs through or close to um, Victoria, and then I am going to uh, Earl's Court, which is a place I've never been to before, to find my hotel. there's something a little bit special um, about this road. Um, many years before I lived in London, I came down with my parents, well, with my father, um, to view the sights of London. We did it using a, uh, a free bus that went to Earl's Court Exhibition Centre. And um, we uh, were coming on our way back to catch the bus up and we came out of Earl's Court by the wrong door and like with most um, with most stations you can come out of any exit but at Earl's Court if you come out of the wrong exit you can't go back into the station and cross it to come out the other side you have to walk around the outside and we were going to miss the bus because we'd come out on the wrong side and this is the road that you that we tore down, and I do mean ran down, in order to get to the exhibition centre at the bottom. I have memories of it. One of my early memories, vivid memories of the road, hasn't changed at all. Um, <clears throat> I didn't recognise the station or the exhibition centre, um, but now it's there. Uh, I thought I'd never been here before, but it's all come back to me now. So, uh, rounding this corner and across the road should be the centre. Of course, um, when I was little this road seemed a lot longer, I can tell you that. We caught the bus in the end and, uh, and got our free trip home. Well, this is um, a newly developed part because uh, when I was here last, this wasn't this wasn't here. I mean, obviously, um, the side of the building's always been here, but this little uh, bit of developed land, which happens to be where the chapter house used to be, um, <clears throat> and probably still is somewhere beneath the ground, um, uh, wasn't open to the public at all. Um, I think we had the disabled access somewhere around under that pillar, and, and that was about it. So, uh, it's just a little addition to the churchyard, I suppose. So, yes, this was where the uh, chapter house used to be in the middle there, rising up. But, of course, the building was completely different because this was uh, pre the, um, the Great Fire. So, this was um, the chapter house of old St Paul's, not the present building. And this here is the plan of both cathedrals. The dark... Um, but you can see is the outline of the old St Paul's, including the tower at that end, the sort of um, grey bit underneath. That's the modern building, where the modern building is now, so it's roughly on the same side. East end's almost exact, but the uh, west end 
stops a lot short of the original building. See? Right, this is interesting. We're outside the uh, north transept here and this is a, um, an idea uh, of creating better wheelchair access and what they've done is they've done a mock-up in wood of something that they're thinking of doing in stone which is a huge ramp that goes up to the door. In fact they're thinking of copying it on the other side. I'll show you the other side which has the stone which goes underneath the wood. There. Um, I think it's horrific um, and I think uh, to put, put one in on the other side as well be a, the same as this would be a bad idea. Um, I think that they have to work um, <laughs> some other way of doing it because that's not, it's an eyesore and to create that in stone over the steps that are there um, it beggars belief that they would think of doing that. Um, they have got uh, um, entrance for wheelchair access round the other side. I think they need to work somehow on getting a, a ramp that's far less imposing and um, far less of a work of art I think. This, this looks sort of like some sort of modern art uh, display and, and it ruins, completely ruins the building. Um, I'd have to give some thought as to how I think they could uh, improve that but uh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I hope when I visit again, I don't know, in maybe another two years or something, I don't find that this is permanent in stone all the way around here, copied on the other side of this, this rail. That would, uh, be, I would find that quite heartbreaking, really. I've got a, uh, this. This is the, uh, this is what it looks like inside, quite nice, actually. And this is the, uh, the programme so to speak, <laughs> review and voice program service sheet um, of the event itself. Um, you know, I went in and I saw uh, a lot of familiar faces. Um, in fact, a lot of people um, from my time and before uh, were there um, because obviously it was. It, Lucy has always been extremely popular, um, and so a lot of people from her past. Um, and uh, sort of my past as well in terms of St Paul's were there, you're talking you know the the, uh, the old Dean uh, John Moses who's since retired he was there um, the, the Dean and Chapter of the present cathedral <coughs> they were there as well several of the vergers which I worked with during my tenure they were there um, and uh, sort of the odd sort of members of, of the stewards department or, or something like that People that I hadn't seen in a very, very long now, time. It appears that there's no internal um, route from the vestry uh, to the, um, the the east end of, of the church. So the clergy um, had to leave the vestry and walk through the um, the courtyard where all the sort of stalls are for the marketplace and where I was sitting before they arrived at the back to begin the procession. And as I was sort of sat there just deciding on where to go, um, Lucy came round the corner accompanied by sort of two mates um, and the, uh, the Bishop of London. Um, it was a surreal moment because I wasn't sure if any of them would recognise me um, after, you know, I haven't spoken to these people in at least five years. Um, and before then we were sort of more acquaintances than sort of direct friends. Uh, but they both recognised me, so we, we stopped and we had a talk, and I felt a bit strange, actually, because it was a little bit like, you know, <laughs> having held up this big procession sort of thing, to have a little chin wag with a, uh, with a couple of people I knew. But anyway, um, so they said, well, you know, why don't you come in and, and stay? So I thought, well, all right then. So I went in and I, I watched from the balcony where, um, you know, people were beginning to sort of collect, because I guess there was no room uh, on the bottom floor.